Hey, first up, who was your footballing idol growing up? Um, footballing idol, I'd probably say David Beckham was the biggest one. I mean, he's England captain at the, at the time. We're from the same area in, in Chinkford, so uh, yeah, he's a great role model on the pitch, very successful, uh, and he's a great role model off the pitch as well, so it's great to be able to look up to someone like that. In today's lesson, we are going to look at some British football players' accents. It's really important to listen to many different accents in English, especially if you plan to use your English to work, travel or study abroad. We'll be watching some short interview clips with these players and commenting on their accent and overall pronunciation. This is going to be a great opportunity for you to test your listening skills with the clips we've compiled for you today. But before we start, every week we release lessons to help intermediate and advanced learners like you to improve their English in a fun and dynamic way without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. So if you're new here, make sure you join our community of over 5 million learners by subscribing now. First, you'll watch the clips with subtitles. Pay special attention to the words in orange and how they are pronounced. Then you'll watch each clip again without subtitles. Ready? So let's begin. Multicultural London English has a mix of influences from immigrant groups that settled in London, mainly from the Caribbean. MLE has the glottal T, like the Cockney accent, but also other sounds. For example, he drops the initial H at the start of words such as his. Some examples of football players that have this type of accent include Raheem Sterling, Saka and Jaden Sancho. Raheem Sterling was born in Jamaica and moved to London at the age of five. He plays for Manchester City and the English national team. In the clip we're going to see first, Sterling is explaining why he believes Manchester City, a local club, could beat England's national team. First, watch the clip with subtitles. For one, you're here every day um, with the national team. You're there seven to eight days, you've still got top players, but it's not the same. You don't get the same time, you don't get enough time with the manager. Um, of course, you get his ideas and you get his, his plans, but you know, if I was with England every single day, it would kind of be different. Um, and I think it'll, the team will play better. Now, watch it again without subtitles. For one, you're here every day um, with the national team. You're there seven to eight days, you've still got top players, but it's not the same, you don't get the same time, you don't get enough time with the manager. Um, of course, you get his ideas and you get his, his plans, but you know, if I was with England every single day, it would kind of be different. Um, and I think it'll, the team will play better. Estuary accent. The Cockney accent is mainly spoken in London by the working class and originated in the east end of the city. RP, or received pronunciation, is the accent considered the standard British English. It's the typical accent that you hear when you watch the news, for example. The estuary accent is a mix of Cockney and RP. Some examples of football players that have this accent include Luke Shaw and Declan Rice. One distinct characteristic of this accent is the replacement of the TH for the V sound. Listen to this clip with Declan Rice and notice how he pronounces the word with. I don't know, it seemed like the referee was against us all night, to be honest with you. Um, too many fouls given for them and for us, pretty much the same situations with elbows and tackles that we didn't get. So I can't say too much, but yeah, very frustrating. Now, watch it again without subtitles. Oh, I've not seen it back yet. Um, I don't know, it seemed like the referee was against us all night, to be honest with you. Um, too many fouls given for them and for us, pretty much the same situations with elbows and tackles that we didn't get. So. I can't say too much, but yeah, very frustrating. This accent is known for having the TH fronting instead of the U sound and the glottal T. Also, the Y sound at the end of words is a short I sound. Marcus Rashford plays for Manchester United and was also born in Manchester. Watch the next clip and notice how he pronounces the words but and opportunity. It was... Reading was just never part of my schedule growing up, but 
now that I have read, I want to make sure that the, the next generation have the opportunity to, to read. And that on the streets, as you put it, is really what is firing you up now, isn't it? Yeah, basically. Um, like I know, I know a lot of kids that are in similar positions to me. Um, but if I can, if I can show them something where they can do something other than being on the streets, then you know whether they read it or not, it's up to it's up to them. Um, but at least they have the opportunity to, to do it, and it's the opportunity that I I didn't have when I was when I was a kid. It was reading was just never part of my schedule growing up, but now that I have read, I want to make sure that the, the next generation have the opportunity to, to read. And that on the streets, as you put it, is really what is firing you up now, isn't it? Yeah, basically. Um, like I know, I know a lot of kids that are in similar positions to me. Um, but if I can, if I can show them something where they can do something other than being on the streets, then you know whether they read it or not, it's up to it's up to them. Um, but at least they have the opportunity to, to do it, and it's the opportunity that I I didn't have when I was when I was a kid. Macam is the informal nickname for people from Sunderland, a city in North East England, which is also close to Newcastle. Jordan Henderson is a good example of a football player that has this accent. Henderson currently plays for Liverpool and the English national team. Watch this clip next and notice how he pronounces the word my as well as the you sound in words. Yeah, football was has been everything in my life ever since I could walk really. Um, love of the sports, loved sports at school, um, but football was, was the number one right from, from when I can remember. Sure. And was Sunderland your team? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Always? Always. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. Um, my dad used to take us to the games at Roger Park, which I can't really remember that well because I was quite young, but then Stadium Alight. Um, Worked my way through the academy at Sunderland from age of seven um, and finally got into the, the first team and made my debut at 18. Yeah. yeah, football was has been everything in my life ever since I could walk really. Um, love of the sports, loved sports at school, um, but football was, was the number one right from, from when I can remember. Sure. And was Sunderland your team? Yeah. Yeah. Always? Always. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. Um, my dad used to take us to the games at Roger Park, which I can't really remember that well because I was quite young, but then Stadium Alight. Um, worked my way through the academy at Sunderland from age of seven um, and finally got into the, the first team and made my debut at 18. As you can see, English is full of different dialects. That's why you need to have a lot of exposure to many different ways of speaking English both native and non-native. With the Real Life English app, you can have short conversations with people from all over the world at the touch of a button. You can also improve your listening skills with our podcast, which comes with transcripts and vocabulary notes for you to follow along. Download it for free in the Google Play or Apple App Store. You can also find a link up here and one down in the description below. Join the global conversation and download the app now. Jamie Vardy plays for Leicester City and was born in Sheffield, which is situated east of Manchester. Watch this short clip and pay special attention to how he pronounces the words away and up. Do you have any bad habits? Yeah, the, mi the missus hates it as well, just not putting my clothes away. Mainly when, when I'm going to bed, you know, you're just getting undressed for bed, I just... I'll put the clothes in a nice neat pile just at the side of the bed and in my head I've got it worked out perfect that I'll, I'll wake up in the morning, pick them up, put them in the wash basket yeah. and yeah, you wake up in the morning, you just completely forget. Do you have any bad habits? Yeah, the, mi the missus hates it as well, just not putting my clothes away. Mainly when, when I'm going to bed, you know, you're just getting undressed for bed, I'll just I'll put the clothes in a nice neat pile just at the side of the bed and in my head I've got it worked out perfect that I'll, I'll wake up in the morning, pick them up, put them in the wash basket yeah. and yeah, you wake up in the morning, you just completely forget. Where is the Brummie accent from? Bath, Birmingham, Bournemouth. Yeah. 
Located in the West Midlands, Birmingham is one of the United Kingdom's major cities. Jack Grealish plays for Manchester City but was born in Birmingham and played for Aston Villa until recently. Listen to how he pronounces the vowels U, A and O. Uh, what are your three must-have items when you're on a holiday? Besides your phone and your wallet? Sun cream. Sun cream? Because I got burnt there bad. Okay. My passport. Good shout. And my hairspray. Your hairspray? Yeah. Uh, what are your three must-have items when you're on a holiday? Besides your phone and your wallet? Sun cream. Sun cream? Because I got burnt there bad. Okay. My passport. Good shout. And my hairspray. Your hairspray. If you want to hear more of the Birmingham accent, you might want to check out the British TV series Peaky Blinders. The Yorkshire accent is another variation of a northern accent. Notice how Harry Maguire pronounces the letter U. You will see that it sounds a bit closed and it almost sounds like an O instead. Also, look out for the TH sound that he uses in Ruthless too. Axel I would put up there, always in the gym, always doing pull-ups, very strong. And I'd also put Nemanja as well. I think he's he's got that ruthlessness. He, he looks after our finds as well, so um, he's quite strong with it and I'm alongside him, so I'm happy he's alongside me to... Are you like his bodyguard when he goes up to collect the money? Yeah, he, well, to be fair, he doesn't need a bodyguard, to be fair to him, so we know he... <laughs> Axel I would put up there, always in the gym, always doing pull-ups, very strong. And I'd also put Nemanja as well, I think he's he's got that ruthlessness. He, he looks after our finds as well, so um, he's quite strong with it and I'm alongside him, so I'm happy he's alongside me to... Are you like his bodyguard when he goes up to collect the money? Yeah, he, well, to be fair, he doesn't need a bodyguard, to be fair to him, so we know he... The Glaswegian accent comes from Glasgow in Scotland. Andrew Robertson is a Scottish footballer who plays for Liverpool. Notice how differently he pronounces some vowels, especially the words how and chicken. Let's watch a clip from him. Knowing which came first, the chicken or the egg? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a hell of a question that is. How did the first chicken just appear? It must have been an egg. And then the chicken came out of the egg. So where did the egg come from? I wish I never asked it now though, because I'm baffled by it. The chicken or the egg? Knowing which came first, the chicken or the egg? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a hell of a question that is. How did the first chicken just appear? It must have been an egg. And then the chicken came out of the egg. So where did the egg come from? I wish I never asked it now though, because I'm baffled by it. The chicken or the egg? Now, test your knowledge on some of the things you learned today about British accents. Estuary accent. The Cockney accent is mainly spoken in London by the working class and originated in the east end of the city. RP or received pronunciation is the accent considered the standard British English. It's the typical accent that you hear when you watch the news, for example. The estuary accent is a mix of Cockney and RP. Some examples of football players that have this accent include Luke Shaw and Declan Rice. What does RP stand for? Received pronunciation, rhotic pronunciation, relaxed pronunciation. Mackham is the informal nickname for people from Sunderland, a city in North East England, which is also close to Newcastle. Jordan Henderson is a good example of a football player that has this accent. Henderson currently plays for Liverpool and the English national team. Mackham is the informal nickname for people from Birmingham, Manchester, Sunderland. The Glaswegian accent comes from Glasgow in Scotland. 
Andrew Robertson is a Scottish footballer who plays for Liverpool. Where is the Glaswegian accent from? England? Wales? Scotland? I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. To keep learning, check out this lesson we made on the hardest British accents to understand. Let's watch a clip from that. But there's also a more modern version of it called Modern RP, which is like the accent Emma Watson has. English guys are like very well put together and they dress really well and they're like very well mannered. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but they're also very restrained. such a family person. I love spending time with them. I love being with them. So, you know, sometimes I go back to Birmingham and especially uh, at this time of the year, you know, Christmas just reminds me so much of, you know, family. Could you understand that Birmingham or as we like to shorten it, Brummy accent? Let's give it another listen, this time with subtitles. 